low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. It's time now for look latest in local sports and sports high school baseball team improved to 15 and 10 overall and 7 and 2 in region play with a 4-1 win Thursday over New Hampstead at New Hampstead High School. Jack and Sweep the Phoenix will play on play a non-region game Tuesday in Camden County against the Wildcats at game time Tuesday at 6 p.m. In last night's game, junior pitcher Jasper Stanfield tossed a five-hit performance while the Jackets had six hits, three from Zach Thomas, who also had an RBI triple in the game. Cooper Martin with a triple. The Boykin brothers, Luke and Griffin, each had doubles in the game. After the win, we talked with head coach Justin McDonald. Congratulations on a big win. Got the sweep. Uh, yep. Another good item by Jasper Stanfield. Blake would close his eye. Get a double play when you need it. Oh, yeah. Got to get the insurance run. Cooper, get you a charge, oh, yeah. a triple. It's funny. We didn't have a six hits, but four of the six hits are extra bases. Yeah. And, and doubles, I, triples. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's good to see. That is. And I know one in there, I think I, we straight scalded the ball. And, uh, you know, sometimes they play unorthodox, I guess. Kind of where they position. I know Demo hit one up the middle, and the guy was standing behind second base. And and, and you know against against some teams, that's a hit. I know Den Brewer hit one down the line. That's a double. Looked like a double off the bat. And I look up, and the guy standing there to catch it. So our guys are continue to have quality at bats, and, and you know we 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 try to challenge them to have their best at bat every time they go up and try to try to be better than the last one. And that's what they're doing. And you know the the, the seventh inning there, you saw that's the baseball we play is, is get a triple, then a hard ground ball and get him in. And that, that's a big run there without without the tying run being on base in that inning. But give Blake Wood credit coming in and, and closing it out. Stanfield does what Stanfield does, and and the crucial double play. That's big. That's yeah, a that's a big. double play that, that we get we that, that we haven't turned a lot of those, and we're gonna continue to work and get better, and hopefully we can turn some of those into playoffs. It's a non region game next week on Tuesday against Canada. But I, before you go, I want I've been talking about this uh, thing you sent me on the email yeah. at the alumni weekend. Tell us, I know it's been a good response, but yeah. tell guys that have played for Wayne County baseball anytime what what the deal is and what what you're trying to do. Yeah, we're trying to get them back involved. I know uh, it's it's important for them to be involved because everybody that comes through our dugout is eventually going to be alumni, and and I want I want everybody to be together. The success that we have, it's it's not just the 35 plus kids we have in the program. It's it's everybody that ever come through that locker room or or put on that jersey with yellow jackets or Wayne baseball, and and that's what we wanted to have. So 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 these guys can build relationships with those guys, and and it can continue. And you know. You never know where you might meet some of these guys down the road, and I know we've had a, a great turn or great support. As a, I know we kind of launched it last night, and you know they're going they're going to be invited to the game on Friday night against South Davidham, recognize them before the game, and 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 try to have all of them there. And then on Saturday we're going to have a 11 o'clock, have an alumni game. It'll be I versus even years, and you know that'll be a lot of fun. And, and you know you'll hear stories, and 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 I love hearing stories about the traditions and. And the, and the history of what what's happened here in Wayne County, and you know, there's a lot of great baseball players that come through there. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's it's something we talked about. I know Coach Brown was kind of influential and in, in, and kind of kind of helping me generate it and get it lined up. And you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be something that we can build on every year and and, and have a great turnout. I, I know the community can come out, and it's going to have umpires and all. It's going to be the real deal. It's going to be competitive, and uh, it'll be fun to watch. Anybody out there listening as alumni, how they get involved, what do they need to do? Uh, there, there's there's a Google Docs. I know social media. It's out on social media. There's a uh, there's a link on a Google Docs on our. We have a Wayne County Baseball Facebook page, so they could go on there and it's listed. And then there's a a link that they can click on and they can fill it out. It's got a question there. They can put their name, address, email, phone number, jersey number, and then whether or not they're interested in playing the game. And you know when they're playing the game, it's going to cost twenty dollars for them to play in the game, but they're going to get a meal that day and they're going to get a jersey that or a, a, a jersey to wear during the game with their high school number on it. With you know, I guess even years may be gold and odd years may be black, but they'll have, they'll all look the same. They'll have a Wayne County jersey on with their number from high school on, and they'll get to keep that. And, and you know, there's something we're going to do every year. So it's not just a one-year deal. It's going to be a yearly thing and, and try to go ahead and set the date next year where they know it's the last Saturday of the season so we can, they can kind of plan. I know a lot of people live out of state or out of town or may have stuff going on and, and give them time to, to make plans next year so they can all be there. And again, those comments, Coach Justin McDonald, again, that baseball alumni weekend. Set for April 19th and 20th, the Jackets will play South Effingham that Friday, April 19th. Alumni will attend the game. Then on Saturday, they'll play the alumni baseball game at 11. And the cost to participate, $20, and that includes a meal and a jersey with your high school number on it. 
So again, mark the date on your calendar, April 19th and 20th, Alumni Weekend at Howard Bill Warren Field. All other high school teams have been off for the spring break. The tennis teams will be back in action on Tuesday. They'll be at the region meet in Ware County. Both teams have qualified for state action already, but they play for seating in the state tournament on Tuesday in Waycross at Ware County High School. March Madness comes your way Saturday. Two semifinal games here on Big Dog Country, F105.5, Saturday afternoon. First game, Auburn against Virginia. Game two, Texas Tech against Michigan State. We'll have the championship game for you Monday night as well. Bray sweep the Cubs as they win Thursday night by a score of 9-4. to four. Even the record at 3-3, three and three, they host the Fish of Miami this weekend in Atlanta. Reminder, the opening day of baseball and softball recreation season is set for Monday. Games begin at 5.30, run throughout the evening at Ben Park Complex in Billmore's Park. It will be a packed park on Monday night. Again, opening date on Monday. Spring football for Wayne County begins on May 1st, but the spring game has been set for a trip to Douglas, Georgia, on Friday, May the 17th. The other Jugglers will play against both Coffee and Brooks County. They'll have a half a football against Coffee, a half a football against Brooks County, and will be on hand broadcasting that spring scrimmage. But mark the date on your calendar. Make plans to be in Douglas, Georgia on Friday, May the 17th for the spring football scrimmage. Registration for the recreation swim team is set for April 8th, 9th, and 11th from 4 to 6 p.m. at 665 Ski Lake Drive in Jessup. Practices in the afternoons on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays while school's in session. These are not swim lessons. If you're interested, call the Rick Department at 427-5915 or call 706-631-1449. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by your friends at Harris Ace Hardware. You are invited to Jessup Church of God for their Easter celebration weekend entitled Living Hope. Starting Friday, April 19th, Jessup Church of God will have a good Friday service starting at 7 p.m. Easter Sunday, the 21st, there will be an Easter sunrise service starting at 7 a.m., followed by a Sunday celebration service like no other that starts at 10. Come celebrate the living hope at Jessup Church of God Easter weekend. For more information, visit the website at jessupcog.com or call the church office at 912-427-3576. There are a lot of reasons to buy your groceries at your Jessup Piggly Wiggly. Super weekly specials that save you money. Friendly hometown service. Piggly Wiggly has the items you need because they've been serving the South for over 100 years. Senior citizens 55 and above, you receive 10% off your total purchase every day of the week. Piggly Wiggly's Deli Bakery makes your life easier with complete ready-to-eat affordable take-home meals. Shop your hometown supermarket. Piggly Wiggly on West Cherry Street in Jessup. Saturday, April 13th, Wild Adventures Theme Park in Valdosta, Georgia presents Larry the Cable Guy, live on stage. I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. It's the Wild Adventures All-Star Concert Series featuring Larry the Cable Guy. We took your teeth out and replaced them with them Halloween chatter teeth.